all right we are back again may the lord bless you all christ is lord and we start with the abduls making allegation today we have a new abdul he is an immigrant who live in germany he grow his beard and we are going to use his beard to clear the dust from his knowledge and what is in his yellow pages which is called the quran this abdul he claim actually why i want to talk let us play his video and let us see what the Abdul is claiming in this video you know when a Muslim he speak about something and he make fun of something and then we find that he is a stupid in that something that's mean he is deserve a spanking somewhere somehow and this is what we would do this Abdul he is in the square in the in the ground in the street explaining to a Christian that the book of Christians is the book of pornography listen carefully and let us love together look look Israel that land has been given what, to the what's Jewish your name Kian Kian I am Hamdi huh. uh, Kian look I believe in the Bible that there is a, a word of God and word of man and pornography that's what I don't believe. No, I, I don't agree with pornography. Wait a minute and you can explain. I believe the word of God, the word of man, and the, I can view, I give you all example and pornography first. Second, when I speak, when, when uh, we, we say the uh, Quran, it's a watch over your book. When uh, your book says it's David, make adultery with Bathsheba, or God in the Quran said, no, David is sinless. It's, 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 it's correct the prophet. Okay, I'm going to prove today that you are a special, you are a certified donkey. We just heard him saying that the Quran said that David is sinless. Listen carefully again, because because we give before we give him the certification, we need to explain why he deserve it. He said he just said the Quran said that David is sinless. Who said that? Him, not me. Oh, God and by and Quran said no, David is sinless. Is 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 correct, because, the prophet? Because all the Jews know David did this. What a minute! What is David sinless as this guy he claimed? Let us go to the Quran and show this donkey that he is certified donkey. I'm not, by the way, calling him names. He deserve it. First of all, his prophet himself is sinner. Chapter of victory, chapter of Al Fatah, verse number uh, chapter forty eight, verse number two. The Quran says to Muhammad. That may Allah forgive thee the sin which is in the past and which is to come. So Muhammad, he been given an open license for sin. He is a sinner in the past. He is a sinner to come. This is your Quran. So uh, for sure, if you are defending that the Quran saying that David did not commit sin, there's no way you will accept that for your prophet Muhammad, right? But as you see, the Quran saying you're a prophet is a sinner and Allah gave him an open license to sin. Now we go to David. Uh, <clears throat> if we go to David, we will find this. I mean, sometimes I find it astonishing. If we go to the Quran, chapter 38, verse number 23, chapter 38, verse number 23, let us open first that one and see. And for sure, we will see who is which book is the book of pornography. Chapter 38, verse number 23, it says, That David he had uh, 99 goat. The Quran described the wives of, of David, they are goats, as you see. And David still he wanted the goat of his brother, which means one of the believers. What is the story behind this? The story says that Allah, He is the one who tempted David. Allah, He tempted David and He made him commit sin. He made David a sinner. He made David a, a, a bad person. So uh, uh, you know, David when he committed sin, 
simply it was Allah making him commit sin it was not even a choice of David but what is the behind this 99 wife and my brother he have one wife or he have one goat if we go to the interpretation we will read the following and remember I'm not reading my own interpretation this is your interpretation this is tafsir al-qurtubi to the verse it says and I'm going to read exactly I apologize I could not find al-qurtubi in English that David he saw a woman she was taking a shower in the neighborhood he saw it from the top of his building and she was naked taking a shower so when she saw him looking at her she covered her body with her hair and then he decided to take her and Ibn Abbas said and her husband was doing jihad for the sake of Allah and his name is Uriah the son of Hanan and then David he wrote to the leader of the uh, uh, army to make her husband to carry uh, 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 like the tablet and then because those are the most to be killed so uh, David he uh, cons uh, make a conspiracy so this husband he will be killed so he can take the wife and then this is what happened so the guy he been given that a duty and he was between one of those was killed and then he took her David he took her and then when he took her uh, she she made a condition that he have to uh, uh, to make her son if he have sex with her that he will be her his caliphate so you are saying to me that David is not a sinner in the Quran and you are a liar the Quran says the opposite why you are a liar let us go to Ibn Kathir maybe Al-Qurtubi you don't like this is Ibn Kathir and Ibn Kathir he says even something even more horrible let us go to Ibn Kathir Actually, we can take many, uh, you know, uh, 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 many interpretation as Muslims wish to have. Hmm? And you will see here, you're a prophet saying that David, he repented. Let me show you this. And, you know, I mean, this guy, this guy, he claimed that he have knowledge and he is speaking of knowledge. You are an idiot to not know what is written in your book. And it's time to spank you. And the, the funny he called his video. Don't miss, don't miss with the what who? <laughs> don't miss with the what his name? Uh, Hamdi, Hamdi, Hamdi. If we go to the hadith, we will find the following. Let everybody laugh at you, and everybody will see in a second that you are a certified donkey. Allah Messenger recited the surah, sod, etc. When he reached the place prostration of the Surah, uh, he descended and prostrate himself and people, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then it's okay. And then the people become ready to prostrate the message of Allah. S-A-W said, this is, was rep uh, uh, repentance of the, prof of the prophet. But I saw you being uh, uh, ready for prostration. What they, what, uh, what, do, what, uh, what, uh, uh, who is the prophet who is repenting here? Either you have to accept that this is your prophet or you have to accept that this is David and when somebody repent it's mean he, he agree and he you know he confessed that he commits sin now if we go here uh, let us see anyway we can give more reference let us go back to that interpretation first and here he says and this is came because of David, what a uh, sorry, uh, what a farad, and this is like mentioned by uh, Abu Dawood uh, uh, in, in the hadith of Abu Dawood, and he said this is Sahih. Now let's uh, let's go here. Let us go. This is your prophet. This is Al Qurtubi. We we'll go back to Al Qurtubi. In Al Qurtubi, it says, "Inna Dawood al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam hina nazara ila al mar'a, fahamma biha." When the Prophet David, David, he looked at a woman and he wanted to have sex with her. So, uh, uh, 
uh, and then he continued the story and then uh, you know he sent her uh, her husband so he will be killed so he can take the wife etc now you are saying to me that the book the bible is the book of pornography because of this story because david he commits sin according to you but as you see even your book confirm that he, david himself he commits sin and even he caused the women husband to be killed so he can have her himself and even here it says Allah he uh, uh, tempted David by sin it's your God who did that to him we go to the second page as you see we are not reading our own we are not reading our own uh, here they are giving more details about how David he sent the man so he so he will be killed uh, let us go and see more they are repeating the same thing I, you know sometimes Islamic interpretation it's really a joke I mean it's just repeating for the same thing over and over and over I mean where is the anyway if you go in the same chapter you will see that Allah confess that he is the one who made David commit sin it says let me show you how this idiot he have no idea what he's talking about Quran says brother the Quran says that David is sinless the Quran said what a donkey you are read with me I hope your beard is going to help you to know to know how to read uh, by the way I'm going to show it in German too because this is this guy he speak to people in Germany give me a second I will show it in Germany in German it says that we had tried him so this is was a try from Allah we had tried him so the sin of David was not a David sin it was the sin of Allah who he made David commit sin but the Quran saying that uh, David he committed sin and he asked Allah for forgiveness as you see so why you are lying and says the Quran says that David have no sin now here as you see the Quran agree and the interpretation says it clearly that he agree and even there's a hadith from your prophet saying it clearly uh, let me get the hadith of your prophet saying that uh, let us see where I think if we go to a Razi maybe let us see a Razi I mean you have to read all those I mean look how many pages because there's no numbers in this website I mean there's no number for the pages there, there's no way you can find the page exactly um, look here in the interpretation of Ar Razi talking about Muhammad committing sin so he says May Allah forgive you the sin, you, you, you Muhammad. And then he says, this is the same as what happened to, to Prophet uh, uh, David. Peace be upon him because of sin he commit. All right? Because of a woman, he did sin with her. So why you are lying saying that the Quran says they are sinless? Your prophets are in Islam, they are sinless. And this is why when the Muslim, they say Muhammad, the holy prophet, they are a big fat liars because even the Quran agree and stated clearly that Muhammad is a sinner. So why you lie? Huh? Why you lie? What about the story of uh, 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 the story of uh, uh, Joseph? Joseph in Islam is a prophet. It says in the Quran, "Fahamma biha wa bihi." 
he wanted to f her and she wanted to f him and as long we are here let me show you that even when you commit adultery in Islam it is what Allah he decide for you just to spank this guy and show him how ignorant we are here first of all before we talk about uh, porn you're a prophet he speak about that any man any women they like to f each other they can have what you call Muslim temporary marriage which is not a marriage it is muta to f each other for three days three nights this is the book of pornography my friend your sister she go in the elevator she see a guy here she like him he said to her I want to pay you ten dollars do you accept if you take off your panty for two hours she accept according to Islam this is halal and this is in the front of you and this by the way in the Quran chapter 4 verse 24 the Muslims to me they say this is abrogated show me the verse of abrogation they will say to you this is in the hadith I can show you in the hadith it says that even after Muhammad death the Muslim Sunni they practice the muta after Muhammad death in the time of Omar in the time of Abu Bakr read it and this is Sahih not weak hadith do you see it this is Sahih Muslim as an example not necessarily only this hadith. We can show many. It says it clearly that we practice the temporary marriage. By the way, it doesn't say marriage. It says tamattana, uh, which means we did sex during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and during the time of Omar, which means Muhammad, he died. We did it when he was alive. And when he died, Abu Bakr became the caliphate. And even when Omar became the caliphate, still we do muta. And this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 1405 and you talk about fornication and you talk about porn this is the book of porn under what religion you can rent a woman for sex actually there is there is a section in Islamic study it's called Isti'aratul Furuj to borrow a vagina this is why I have a book it's called sex and Allah if you like to increase your knowledge go and get my book Sex and Allah, you will get tons of reference about sex in Islamic belief. Everything about your religion is about sex. Now, as long you are talking about that my Bible is the book of pornography, pornography because David, he commits sin. My Bible says it clearly that David commits sin and asks for uh, ask God for forgiveness. And even what showed you from the Quran that this is what David did. He asked God for forgiveness. But look what the Quran, what your prophet said. Your prophet said that when somebody commit adultery, this is not your sin. It was Allah who wrote for you before he created you which means Allah is the God of fornication if you go if you do fornication it's not your choice it's Allah who decide for you to do the fornication and this is it will go to Sahih Bukhari so you will not say to me this is weak do you see it Allah he wrote to, uh, to Allah has written Allah has written for the son of Adam his his shares his parts let me take the the book off of adultery whether he is aware or not that's it it is Allah who wrote for you actually the translation here is not is not really accurate the translation here is saying that you have to do adultery either you like it or not it's not a choice for you because Allah he wrote that for you so why why you say my book is the book of fornication when the fornication is is the destiny of Allah this is another hadith from Sunan Ibn Dawood and as you see it's Sahih read carefully and laugh at your religion Ibn Abbas said I did not see anything more resembling the minor of etc Abu Huraira reported that Allah messenger said who is the one is talking Muhammad Allah has degreed Allah has what Allah has degreed for the children of Adam a share in adultery so when you commit adultery according to Islam that was a decree of Allah it was the fate of Allah it was a destiny of Allah which means it's not me who commit adultery it's Allah Allah is the God of fornication he is the one who make us forn fornicate and then he will punish us for fornication he decide for us before he created us as you see in front of you Allah has decreed for the children of Adam the share of adultery and even the verses about David as we see that it says that Allah he made David commit adultery it says here we tried him let me switch to German because we promised people to see it in German 
and we did not. Where is the German language? Uh, German. Where is the German? I believe I saw German here before. German, 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 maybe up. No. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Where is the German? I, I saw German language here before. Maybe I passed it, I did not see it. What? Norwegian, Malaysian, Malay, Kurdish, Japanese. Ah, here we go. Ah, there's different. Uh, okay, Abu Rida. Let us choose somebody, uh, a Muslim guy. Translation. I don't know what he's saying. I'm just to post it on the screen. Do you see it? So Allah, He is the one who made David commit sin. It is Allah who tempted David. It's not David being bad, but he commits sin. Don't lie. And he asked Allah for forgiveness, you liar. So why you say to the guy, in my book, David was sinless, you donkey. You're a prophet was sinner. David was sinner. Joseph was sinner. And all of their sin is about women. And now what about your prophet taking his own son wife after he looked at her because he saw her wearing see through, through cl a cloth? So when a Muslim, he speak about fornication. What this guy is talking about? Isn't it your prophet who promised you? Guidance? And he ordered women, Muslim women, to give their boobs so a man, he can meet with them? And don't tell me this is for younger children to do breastfeeding. This is for adult. Your prophet is the only prophet. You call him prophet, yet he ordered women to give their boobs so they can be suckled this is fornication and this is nothing but pornography and i challenge you to practice what allah prophet said you order your wife to give her boobs to stranger i challenge you to let your wife when she go in the bus to give her boobs to everybody in the bus because it's haram for your wife to be in the bus with a group of men look what your prophet said A woman, her name is Sahil ibn Suhail. She came to the Prophet and she said, My husband, he don't like seeing the man who is in my house. The Prophet, he said, suckle him. An advice of a Prophet of God, a decent Prophet. The woman, she said, How I can suckle him? And he is a growing man. Suckling a growing man? How I can suckle him? And he is a growing man. And already, already, by the way, this guy, he did jihad. At that time, we are talking about suckling him. He go to war with Muhammad, this guy. So how she can suckle him? And later we find that Muhammad, wife Aisha, she ordered her sisters to do suckle any man he want to enter upon her. And you are talking about pornography? The prophet wife, she asked her sisters and her nieces, To suckle any man when I enter upon them and you talk about a decent religion what pornography you know uh, uh, the Bible speak about David and David he himself he condemned himself and asked God for forgiveness and he cried for God forgiveness but you're a prophet he took the wife of his son and he's proud about it and now not only that he claimed that his God told him to take her Chapter 33, verse number 37. If we go to the interpretation, we will find that your prophet, he went to see his own son wife when she was alone and the husband is not home. 
he saw her and she was white and tall and Allah he lift up the curtain and he made the Prophet see her and then your Prophet he said to her subhanu mu'alliful qulub praise be to Allah who made my heart beat for you chapter 33 verse number 37 you don't believe me let us go and see the interpretation Let us see the book of, inter of fornication, liar. Hmm? How dare you? But we are here to spank you anyway. Read carefully and laugh. And by the way, we can show you Ibn Kathir, if you like Ibn Kathir. Here it says, uh, and it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, and mentioned in Sahih At-Turmudi, and mentioned in Al-Bukhari, from Anas Ibn Malik, blah, 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 blah. And then he says that Zainab, she said, in some of the stories, that after the Prophet, he wished to have her, after he flirted with her, each time he liked to if her Allah he made his penis swell in Zaydan tawarrama dhalika minhu hina arada an yaqrabaha you are talking about pornography Allah he made the penis of the husband swell just because the guy Muhammad he liked the wife what kind of God he reserved the wife of a real legitimate husband for a man because he liked her and he made his penis swell. This is a miracle of Allah. He did bite the penis of, of, of Zayd. If we search for the same statement, you will see this is appear in many interpretations, not only one. Al-Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, uh, let us see. I mean, it's all over. <laughs> uh, look what it says here. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find uh, uh, if I can find the verse in English in Ibn Kathir. Uh, uh, give me a second. Maybe Ibn Kathir can do better. And by the way, remember, English of Ibn Kathir is not really an accurate. They lie a lot in the translation. They cut a lot of stories. Uh, uh, you will not find in Ibn Kathir English a lot of things in Arabic. All right? But look in here, it says. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَعَثَ رِيحًا فَرَفَعَتَ السَّتْرُ وَزَيْنَبَ مُتَفَضِّلَ فِي مَنْ زِرِيهَا That Allah, when Muhammad, he went to his house, son, the, 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 the house of his son, Allah, he left up the curtain, he sent the wind. And left up the curtain so and she was wearing like she is not wearing anything actually متفضلة, which means like she is wearing almost nothing and then the Prophet he saw her and he fell for her and she know and she noticed that he liked her and you are talking about fornication this is his own son and he will say to you well this is his son by adoption well when you say to a man you are my son if you are a man of dignity and you respect your word you will never get close to his wife and actually this is why Muhammad he made this verse because the Arabs start saying what kind of a man he go and sleep with his own son wife and this is why Muhammad he forbid adoption since then imagine the Arab they never slept with the wife's son even if it's from adoption Muhammad, he forbid the adoption of the Arab just because he wanted to have this woman in his bed. And this is nothing but a pure fornication. Chapter 33, verse number 37. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. what happened this is 38 okay I was wondering why it's gone all right let us see what Ibn Kathir in English is saying 
Yeah, I can tell the, the, they cut a lot of things because I cannot find where it says she was white and tall and he saw her. Let us see. Uh, yeah. The story here is gone. Now you see the whole story about Muhammad seeing her is gone. We cannot find it. Hmm? This is your prophet. So we can show you another story about uh, Joseph. Uh, what about Suleiman? Is Suleiman is better? No, so why you lie and you say the prophets in the prophet David in the Quran is is not a sinner when you're a prophet Muhammad is a sinner the Quran confirmed that and the Quran confirmed that's uh, uh, as an example this verse in the front of us here chapter 50 verse number 35 do you know what is this about anyone knows what this is about who knows You are talking about fornication this verse about your prophet he is prom promising the muslims that in the heaven of allah you will have a 70 years orgasm how many years 70 years orgasm and you are saying the 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 uh, the, the the bible is the book of uh, pornography In the Rajal of Jannah, look how many websites. I mean, look at this huh. all of those, all of those reference. Huh. Which one you want? Which one you agree? Uh, you want Ibn, uh, 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 Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyyah? Uh, let me show you Ibn Qayyim. This is your big scholar. You are a Muslim Sunni, you like him. Hmm? What Ibn what Ibn Qayyim he said? <laughs> Let us see what Ibn Qayyim said. So we can love together. This is Ibn Qayyim. Uh, he said, "Hold on, give me a second. Actually, here. Oh, hold on. Let's go to Ibn Kathir. Why want to go to? Uh, you see, the funny guys. If I want to find something in Ibn Kathir, I cannot find it in English." Like this is Ibn Kathir. This is the official government website of the of the government of Saudi Arabia. Look with me. This is Ibn Kathir. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Do you see it? You see the title? All right. If we go down, and if we open the the Ibn Kathir in English, the same chapter, we will not find what we will see here in Ibn Kathir. No way we will find it. Look what it says here in the Bible. The Prophet said, "In the Rajul of the Jannah, let the let the Jannah seventeen years before it changes, then it comes to him a woman, and he is struck by him. The man in the heaven of Allah, he will have an orgasm for seventy years in heaven before." He finished with the first woman to go to the second one and then a second woman after he finished she come and she hit him in his shoulder and Then he look at her face and he, he, he find her face is more clear than a mirror and Her face is like a uh, like a pearl like a like a diamond and she will light in the east and the west Look how, how white she is and then she will say to him assalamu alaikum and he will say, Wa alaykum as -salam. Then he asked, Who are you? She said, I am from the more. Allah, He promised you more. I am the more. And Allah will give her 70 dress, 
which you can see still through she's wearing 70th dress but yet still you can see through them and then he says and you will see the marrow of her legs from behind that and you are saying to me that the Bible is the book of the man and the book of uh, for uh, 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 pornography pornography what a liar you are this is your book 70 years orgasm what about your prophet he promised you in the heaven endless penis what about your prophet he promised you in the heaven that you will have the power of 100 men and he himself he will have the power of 40 men of of men in heaven which means muhammad alone he will have the power of 4000 men for sex and you are talking about pornography 70 years orgasm What about your prophet? He promised you in heaven that you are going to have a penis who will never sleep. And not only that, Allah is going to take and import from the heaven for you women who have nice vagina and nice nipples and nice boobs. And you talk about book of pornography? A God who speak about penis getting harder and he is saying I will never let penises your penises go soft a God who speak that he will give you he will import for you special women they are hookers this is why he says and I will pour for you 70 from the inheritance of the people of hell whom they will have a desirable front passages they will have nice vagina and a beautiful breast what about the Quran speaking about the size of the breast of the women? We will have them in heaven. How dare you to speak about pornography, you liar? Is that your Quran or this is my book? My book never promised me sex in heaven. They never taught me pornography. Chapter 78, verse number 33. Women who will have nice big boobs. What kind of God he speak about the size of the boobs of the women? Is that your God or my God? Let us go and so show it in German for those who speak German. Liar. You've been spanked. Where is the German? Oof. I pass it. I go fast, I think. Here we go. Do you see it, Abdul? Is that your book or my book? Your God is telling me I will give you women who have nice boobs. What is that for? What about your Quran saying that I will give you women who nobody broke the skin inside their vagina and they did not bleed? Talking about pornography? How dare you? Look who is talking. Chapter 55, verse number 56. Chapter 55, verse number 74. What your God speaking about here? That Allah will give you women. I don't know the translation here is good or not. That he will give you women who nobody broke the skin in their vagina. If here they are saying there's no genie or a human touch them, this is a lie. This is not this. What the translation is saying, guys? Somebody tell me. If the translation is just saying that nobody touched them, that's a lie. It doesn't say that. It says nobody opened the skin of their vagina inside it by intercourse. This is not about touching them. Let us show you a translation in English. Uh, read with me wherein both will be those maidens women restraining in their gallants upon their husbands whom no man or genie yet muthahunna this is the word in arabic has opened their humans with sexual intercourse has opened what has opened what your God is describing what is inside the vagina. Not only he is saying that they are women, they are virgin. Nobody opened their vagina skin yet. 
so you are saying to me that the Bible is the book of fornication all your religion is the book of fornication what about a prophet he says that Allah he gave him order to if any women she liked to give herself to the prophet chapter 33 verse number 50 all those women the prophet he can if them additional to that any believing women who like to offer herself to the prophet this is nothing but pure sex what kind of god he made a special privilege for the prophet it's a privilege to muhammad only privilege to you muhammad only muhammad is above all muslims muslim men they can have four wives muhammad he can have as many as he wish muslim men they cannot receive a woman offer herself muhammad he can take any believe in women he wish and not only that if we go and see the interpretation for this you will see that ibn al-arabi he said that if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman her husband he have to divorce her immediately so the prophet he can have her let me show you the reference so the muslim will not say we are lying you know them we show them in the front of us in the screen and still they say you're lying <clears throat> Let's grab the reference. Read and laugh. This is again the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Quran dot ksu dot education i believe this is the university of al medina or mecca here it says and i change any muslim to say i am lying read carefully here he are counting the privilege of the prophet Number one, the prophet, he get the best of the booty, for sure, money. Number two, he get the fifth of the booty. Number three, he is the most close to Allah. Number four, he can increase more than four wives. Number five, he can F a woman by just saying, I give myself. Number six, I, a woman, he can F a woman without permission of her parents. Number seven, he can F a woman without paying her a dowry. Number eight, he can if a woman even when he is doing a haram like even doing hajj number nine he can uh, uh, he can take an oath and he can break his oath to his wives number 10 if his if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so he can if her now the abdul they might say it doesn't say that i'm going to open google translation and i will copy paste hold on let me open google translation You know, Google translation is not accurate, but better than nothing. Right? It's just to help. To clear the truth. Copy. Number 10. Privilege number 10. Copy in the front of your eyes. Go to Google translation. Copy and paste. If he sees his eyes, this is not the correct translation. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her. And her divorce, her, her marriage to her husband is, is dissolved. Do you see it? This is the privilege of the Prophet Muhammad. If his eyes fall into an ass of a Muslim woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. 
and you are saying that the Bible is the book of man and the book of fornication your prophet is not only a fornicator he used God to fornicate he claimed that God gave him a privilege of fornication what kind of a prophet if his eyes fall into a woman we mentioned the story of David how David he cried to God asking for forgiveness you're a prophet he made this as a privilege from God which means his sin his fornication is from God as a privilege so why you lie and you say the Bible is the book of fornication you liar when this is your book it's your book who promise you endless vagina and the endless penis and endless vagina it's your book who promised you in this woman to F and not only that do you remember guys when we ask a Muslim about heaven what they say let us remind the Muslims of what their religion is about and please don't forget to download those videos immediately after we finish and spread them all over if we go and look at some Muslims speaking to us defending Islam what they said about heaven listen to this and don't be disgusted can you hear me yes mute YouTube please sorry mute YouTube so we don't have double voice what do you want to say to us mr. Yes. Russ why are you are upset you say you, you, slandering you, the you said you said this nothing guy is, is a fraud sin in heaven huh nothing is sin in heaven thank you very much that's what I'm saying in the heaven you can have sex with the goat it's fine for you right not nothing sin there's no nothing sin you can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother okay yes well, okay so you can you are proud about having sex with your mother you and your father you will have sex with the same woman which is your mother anything anything is fun everything comes from God in heaven no problem so in the heaven of Allah you will have a threesome you and your father and your mother in the bed okay and you don't see that there's something wrong with that what do you not understand about nothing is sin well, I'm, I'm just trying to understand my friend just nothing sin is in Allah heaven and this filthy idiot he speak about my book is the book of fornication in the heaven of Allah a Muslim he can have sex with everybody including his prophet the Quran promise you whatever you wish and nothing is sin there and even Muhammad he promised them to have sex with men in heaven men with men if you remember the hadith where Muhammad he said this is the hadith about Muhammad, uh, uh, about the wives, the, the nieces of uh, Muhammad uh, giving their boobs to anyone she want to enter upon Aisha. Muhammad, he says, in heaven there is a market. And this market has nothing in it, no, no buying nor, nor selling except images. Images of what? Images of men and women. And if you like the image, you enter it and you F the man inside it. And who is the customer? He is a man. If the man, the prophet said, indeed in paradise there is a market which there is no buying nor selling except images of men and women. So the images is for who? The images are images of men and women. So whenever a man, so who is the customer? He's a man. The customer is what? Is a man, only a man. In this market, no women, they can do shopping. So if a man, he desire an image, he enter it and he have sex with it. Image of what? Image of men and women. This is your heaven. If in men, if in women, Playboy magazine, marketplace. And for sure, the Muslim, they say to you, this is a weak hadith. Anything they don't like, they say it's a weak. Anything is embarrassing, getting their profit busted. It, by the way, weak hadith is still is accepted, even if it's weak. 
there's a sheikh his name is sheikh hamza he explained to you about the stupid abdul who said this is weak he said weak hadith argument is a weak argument for weak hadith did not funk it's accepted when we say weak hadith it's mean it's accepted it pass search in youtube for sheikh hamza saying weak hadith is a weak argument only weak muslims they say it's a weak this is a Muslim teaching Muslims stop being stop being stupid say this is weak and then when we speak about fornication in heaven fornication in earth if you say to me that in Islam we allow fornication only in heaven if the heaven of God is place of fornication why the earth is not secondly Islam allow fornication in earth Muta, there's tons of marriages in Islam considered as marriage. As an example, there's a marriage is called Zawaj a friend, which means you supposedly you marry a friend, but you sleep with her once a week in the in the hotel. There's a travel marriage, like you want to go to Los Angeles, you don't want to carry your wife with you from New York. You hire a woman in the hotel and you marry her as long as you want to stay there. And supposedly, this is because you are a decent man. You don't want to commit sin, so you marry a woman temporarily. So she, you don't. She is your wife. She's halal. This is not, nothing but fornication. The purpose of marriage in Islam became only about sex. I have needs, and those needs is what marriage for, which is sex. And this is why the Muslim they shout at us and they say, "Why you don't understand? Yes, he can have sex with his mother. What's the problem?" Tube. So we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, yes. Mr. Russ? Why are you are upset? You say you, you, you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can. You are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I'm, sin, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart Listen, like you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If if the, if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult. By the way, I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and I, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and I to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Nike mm. in heaven, mm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Nike in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my it would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven, think of it as anything can happen. Oh, well, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nike having sex with your sister in the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say. This is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nike and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I Due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Hmm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> in his heaven, yes. Even they will f their prophet. And by the way, not only in heaven, even the Quran. If we go to the Quran, it says wa jaalnahu nasaban wa sihra. Seven, what's a hero? Chapter 25, verse number 54. What does that mean? That means Quran says we approve only relationships supposedly from what it's called or considered in Islam as a legal marriage. So if there's no legal marriage, it's not forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. How we can prove that? Let us go to the interpretation, my friend. We don't make things up. Chapter 25. 
first number 54. Let us go. Six with my own daughter. The Muslim, they say, in the Bible, there is the daughter of Lot. They have sex with their father. But the daughter of Lot is not God. He told them to do that. This is what they did. The Bible mentioned people committing sin, committing crimes, committing good things and bad things. But this is you, Muslim, believe that if you have a daughter out of marriage, you can if your daughter. Read carefully with me and don't be a fool. You know, when a Muslim he speak about uh, dignity, I find it very funny. Read carefully. Qala ibn al-Arabi, the scholar ibn al-Arabi, explaining this verse. An nasabu ibara an khaltu al-ma'i bayna al-dhakari wal-untha ala sabil al-wajh al-shara. فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم النساء 23 بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا يكون صهرا شرعا so let's translate فلا يحرم الزنا ببنت أو أم بنت he's saying according to the Sharia Allah According to Allah, lineage is by mixing between water of a man and a woman, which means sex, by sharia, which means by marriage. If it's done out of marriage, then there is no lineage. Therefore, it is not or does not consider, which means the child will come from this relationship, will not be considered as a chapter 4 verse 23 where it says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughter but this is only in earth in the heaven you can so if you have sex with a woman and you have a daughter from her but yet she is not your wife that daughter is not forbidden for you in earth to have sex with her because according to Islam she is not your daughter and this why it says لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ بِمِنْتٍ لَهُ because she is not considered his daughter according to Islam and the most accurate opinion of Islam which means you know Muhammad he said by the way if my nation agree about one thing the majority that's mean this is the, the this is the correct thing for Allah he asked Allah not to grant the majority to agree upon something wrong so now the Muslim they will say the majority of the scholars they, they are wrongly about that that's mean Muhammad is wrong and he's a false prophet and he is saying, and if there is no guaranteed lineage by marriage, then she is not forbidden for him to have sex with the daughter and the mother of his daughter. Let us take this as it is, and let us use uh, Google Translation, even, even though uh, uh, Google Translation is not really good, but, you know, better than nothing. Copy. Go to Google Translation. Where is Google Translation? I close it. Okay, hold on. Let me open it again. <coughs> All right. This is Google Translation. Copy, paste. In the front of your eyes. Ibn al-Arabi said that, you know, here then, uh, translation is funny uh, the the lineage he meant is mixing between the water of the man and the water of the women and according and according to Sharia not face of Sharia so if he uh, uh, what Let's see the here the translation is really messed up but anyway he says if you do that which means you have adultery out of marriage he says it does not enter enter his statement the Quran statement it's forbidden for you your mother and your daughter it is not haram for him to do zina zina with who with his daughter I don't know why the rest is not coming let me copy the part which is missing and we replace it 
with the whole thing it's not forbidden for him to do zina but with who with dot with his daughter i don't know why it's not coming right um for some reason google is not translating you see i post it here it's coming only two sentences let's try again yeah, I know. It is copy from here, maybe. There's a script. It's not doing it right. Okay. So here he's saying, it's so is not considered as his daughter because she is not from marriage. And the scholar agree. I mean, the translation is really horrible. In Arabic, it says, "She is not considered to be his daughter, according to the most uh, 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 accurate opinion of the scholars." So it is not forbidden for him to have zina with his daughter, which means adultery, and the mother of his daughter, which is not his wife. This is your Quran, and this is your books. What do you say, Muslims? This Abdul, he was saying to us that our book is the book of fornication, when the fact it is your book is the book of fornication, and we spank him and we got him busted. Your God is the no, God of fornication. David is sinless. It's, 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 it's correct. Quran saying David is sinless. Quran saying that David is sinless. What a liar. And we got you busted. You're a liar. Quran says no. David he asked God for forgiveness and your scholars agree and your prophet agree that he commits sin and he did even kill the man to get his wife and you are an idiot and certified one and we pre prove that to everybody this is why when we say and we speak about Islam we say to you when those idiots they go in the street and they start preaching about Islam they are not qualified to speak about anything including their religion because if this guy is not a certified donkey, he will not say what he said. If he knew really what is mentioned in his book, he will not mention that. If he knew that, he will not mention that. But because he is a donkey, he did not know what he's talking about. Otherwise, he would knew. Uh, okay, well, I'm somebody he will watch this video and he will get me busted As simple as that But I assure you this guy he never heard of this He never heard that the Prophet of, of Islam and his Quran saying that David was a sinner and he commits sin and he asked Allah for forgiveness He never heard this before Stupidity and this is my problem with Muslims. They come to you with things and they accuse you with things as written in their book. You know, this guy, he reminds me of a verse in the Quran. Muhammad, he claimed that the Jews do not know what is written in their books. And they are like donkeys who carry books. In the top of them, chapter you know, 62, verse number 5. But this is goes for Muhammad, and this is goes for the Muslims. It is you who carry books in the top of your shoulder, but you never read your books. Otherwise, you will not mention what you mentioned. Your prophet is a sinner in the Quran. David is a sinner in the Quran and not only Muhammad is a sinner I mean Muhammad he made a horrible stuff in the Quran not only he took his own wife even the Quran says that Muhammad he forbid things are not allowed to be forbidden there's a chapter in the Quran it's called a tahrim which means forbidden Allah said to Muhammad but obviously Muhammad is the one who fabricated this chapter saying to him why you forbid yourself what Allah made law for for you so even Muhammad he fabricated law saying it's forbidden to do something when it is not forbidden. His wives, they found him having sex with his maid. 
in their bed so he made a promise he swear by Allah he will never do it again and then Muhammad he missed having sex with this woman is she is a maid of him slave of him African slave so Muhammad he made a promise but now he need to pro to break the promise how he can break the promise and nobody blame him he used his God puppet Allah so he made this verse saying oh prophet why you forbid what Allah made lawful to thee but Allah never made lawful to thee to have sex with the slave women unless she is captured in war that woman married the cop she was not captured she was a gift Muhammad used to accept a human being as gifts maybe you take a gift for your birthday a pen a phone Muhammad he received human chapter 66 verse number one let us go and see the interpretation so the Muslim will not say oh he's lying you know them you know them this is about Mary the Copt they got him busted and his wife she said to him in my bed and in my house how dare you Oh prophet, why do you forbid what God made lawful for you? I challenge any Muslim to show me one verse in the Quran. It says that it made lawful for him to have sex with a slave. She is not captured. The Quran confirmed that you can rape a woman. She is captured by war. There is nowhere in the Quran that says you can have sex with the woman. She is just a slave. For you in the terms of your Coptic handmaid Maria, when he lay down with her in the house of Hafsa, Actually, here it doesn't show much. In Arabic, it says, she said to him, in my house, in my bed, in my, I mean, imagine how filthy he is. Not only he is a cheating in his wives, he is having sex with a maid in their bed. And this is Tafsir Al-Jalalain. The prophet of fornication. She is not his wife. She is not lawful for him in any way, in any mean. All over the Quran, I change any Muslim, by the way, to show me one verse that says you can have sex with your slave if she is not captured by war. Not a single verse in the Quran says that. But here, Muhammad, as usual, he made a promise because he feared that his wife now they will make a strike against him. And later they did actually. And they will complain to their parents who they are important for Muhammad. He cannot make them upset. Like Hafsa. So Muhammad he said to himself, Okay, I swear by Allah, I'm not going to do it again. But then Muhammad, he remember, like, why you want to do that? I mean, I can say that Allah he said that to me. Even this is Hafsa, the daughter of Umar al Khattab, who is a very important man, and Muhammad he fear him. I can say that Allah he said to me that why you forbid yourself from her? And then what she she cannot complain, and even Umar cannot complain. That said, Allah he said that. Allah is the puppet of Muhammad testicles. He served his penis and he served his balls. And this is why Aisha, she said in the hadith, she said that exactly. She said when she noticed that Muhammad made verses about women giving themselves the prophet, she said, Inni ara rabbuka ilaha Muhammad. I see that your Lord Muhammad, he ran into your sexual desire. And this is Sahih Hadith. I feel jealous of women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger. Why women they want to offer some, themselves to the Messenger? All cult leaders, they ask women to sleep with them from their cult. That is a very common between cult leaders. Go and check. Muhammad, he asked Muslim women to offer themselves to F him. Why? What is the purpose? What that will do to Allah? What is the benefit for Allah if Muhammad is sleep with those women? What that will accomplish to Allah? Muhammad even cannot have kids. So she said, I felt jealous of women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger and I and, and said, Then Allah the exalted, the glorious revealed this. You may differ between them. Not only he gave him an option to if any women she offer herself. He gave him an option to choose which one to F. 
which mean women they come to him but he didn't have to stay with them all he chose the beautiful one he don't want the old one the one should not look good and then she said to him it seemed to me that your Lord hastens to satisfy your desire which mean your sexual desire it seems to me Aisha she is not stupid she is young yes but she noticed how evil this man is who use his God as a puppet claiming that it's God who said that to me I am not really after women Allah said so what I can do but why Allah want to make such a statement why Allah want to ask Muslim women to offer themselves why Muhammad is the only man in town Muhammad is the man who can F every woman in town and this is a privilege only for the Prophet when a cult leader to one of the, one of the proof that he is a cult leader when he make a privilege and all of them is either about sex and money and power that is a cult leader and that is Muhammad myself my friend please download this video share it with everybody because we will not keep it in our channel for long it's going to be there maybe for the coming 10 20 hours maximum by then we will take it off so download and share and let us get the Abdul busted with their lies. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is the most funny, silly, disgusting sex cult exist ever in history. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.